So it's raining. Typical British weather, rain. And I think sometimes as photographers, we sometimes shy away from that. I know I definitely do. I don't like going out getting wet, getting my equipment wet. I'm going to sort it out when I get back. Nightmare. But today I'm going to do that. I'm going to go out, try and get a little bit creative for just an hour or so and see what I can get in the rain. So at the moment it's not actually too bad. The rain has been pouring overnight and there is a bit of drizzle in the air, but it's not too bad. Well, I've just walked through town and I'm not very inspired by anything. So I'm gonna head to a local graveyard, sort of inspired by Graham with his grave vlog the other day I just think if there's a break in the clouds creating a little bit of atmosphere I'm trying not to get run over and with all the gravestones and stuff it might make for some interesting pictures just town didn't just do anything for me town wasn't great because there's too many people too rainy and I felt like a bit of an idiot talking to myself however as I said the graveyard it's gonna be quiet isn't it it's gonna be probably some trees to shelter under and there's always an atmosphere in a graveyard not that I hang out in graveyards I was never a goth however I was a bit of a metal lad but you can always tell that there's going to be like there's emotion associated with graveyards isn't there so as i said before if there's a break in the clouds or if i can get a long exposure of the clouds moving with the um with the grave gravestones in the foreground that might work a treat So I'm at the church, I'm at the graveyard. Well, I'm nearly at the graveyard. Bluebells and, or well, the last few bluebells and other stuff kicking about, which a lot just add to the, which just provide a little bit of color and add to the, to the compositions that I find. So I'm just gonna have a little wander around the gravestones. See if I can find a bit of shelter as well to get all my gear out. odd weather day today so I'm just gonna just see what I can get I don't think it's gonna be a wasted trip but I'm not very enthralled by it so far average pictures really you never know you might find something you might find something soon Well, I wasn't very enthralled and happy, but I've just found a shot, but it's not actually in the graveyard. It's a path which runs just on the outside of it. And it's through this old, well, there used to be a gate there. So it's a gateway. And the path just slowly winds itself into the background. So I've just done a 30 second exposure. I'm not 100% happy with the positioning. So I'm just gonna change the positioning slightly and set another one off. 
just change my position slightly. But if it's any good, here it is. I'm not sure just how waterproof this GoPro 5 is because it's just done something funny and frozen and I've had to give it the kiss of life to come back. So we'll see how much longer I can film for. I'm just looking for another shot really. I'm trying to get the church in the background somewhere. But I'm also trying not to get anyone's names on gravestones because I don't think that's very respectful. Also the, the clout, the sky's just grey and boring. It's a bit of a challenging morning, really. I think I'm, rather than get something grand and big, I think I'm just going to try and get some intimate landscapes, some flowers and some leaves and stuff. Just because the big things aren't working. I think there's too much, too much activity in the graveyard, as it were. So it's proven difficult. So let's try and get some intimate stuff. I don't know what, but let's give it a go. I've been getting annoyed because the cloud, the, the sky where I was shooting, it's just grey and horrible. But then I've turned around, always turn around, always do those 360 turns. And there's actually some clouds over there and a bit of a break in them. So a long exposure with that might be quite nice, but I need some nice foreground interest. And all I've got at the moment is some new gravestones, which I'm not enjoying. Although, what's this tree? This tree could be, this tree behind me there. That could be really interesting. Let's have a look and see if we can do something with that. I've just set off a, an exposure of this sort of stripped back bare tree. There's not much going on in the, in the sky behind it. And there's probably too much wind. So it's not a great shot. Yeah, I'm not gonna, it's a good idea, it's just not. I can't execute it properly. Never mind, we'll find something else. It's funny how you can walk around for ages and then you end up back where you started. <laughs> right, let's find a little bit of foreground interest with these clouds in the background. I do feel there's like people, there's a few people sitting around. I don't want to feel like I'm being intrusive or disrespectful. But in a way, I don't want to get too deep into this subject, but in a way, there is beauty in this graveyard. I'm not sure, I found this lovely wooden cross. There's a tree behind it and there's a little bit of activity in the sky, but there's not a lot going on. I am, as I said, finding this difficult. However, I'll keep going. There's another lovely tree next to me here. There's some lovely trees all the way around, actually. It is quite a lovely place, considering it's a graveyard. I think the best shot I've probably got is the one that's not even in the graveyard, the path down the back. However, I've got a few other bits and pieces, some gravestones, not getting names on. Um, I've changed my, changed my lens just to try and get a bit of depth of field, a bit of focus, a bit of different focus. And just create a bit, of, a bit more atmosphere. I'm a bit underwhelmed, but it's one of those days, I think. It's a bit grey. I do feel like a bit of a moron walking through a graveyard, especially when there's people tending to graves and stuff. I'm gonna get a couple more shots. I've spotted a few bluebells, and then I think we'll be off back home for a brew. Plus it stopped raining as well. I was hoping for to experiment in the rain a little bit more, but it's kind of gone. It says 50% chance. Well, I don't like those odds anymore. <laughs> right, let's find some lovely bluebells.
that's me done i will be back next time with another vlog so please subscribe to the channel and like this video and comment as well i will reply to all comments and i will see you next time bye for now